Hey everyone, it's Ariel. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is very exciting because I have a guest. <laughs> She's right here. She doesn't have a name yet, but this is her. Very beautiful mannequin head. I just got her. I'm just gonna do a really quick style on her. I will leave a link to this mannequin in the description box, but let's just get right into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is detangle her hair, which I haven't done yet at all. This is how she came right out of the box. So I have my wet brush here. I'm just gonna use this to detangle. By the way, you guys, this is 100% human hair, so it shouldn't have any problems with heat. It's human hair, so we can do pretty much anything we want with this, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, so now that we've got it all detangled, I have my flat iron here. I'm gonna be doing flat iron curls. So I have it on already. Um, I have it set at 250 just because I'm not 100% sure how this hair is going to react to being heat styled. Um, so I just have it set really low just in case. And actually, before we start curling, I'm going to section her hair, spin her around. Gonna face the wall for now. So I have my little croc clip here. I'm gonna do the first section around her ear here. Clip the rest of the hair away. There we go. Okay, so now I'm taking my flat iron and I'm going to start. I'm gonna actually split this. So just to show you guys, that's what the section looks like. I'm gonna take this section and I'm gonna probably do three sections. So I'm just gonna start on this side, taking my flat iron, I'm putting it in about two inches or so away from the root. And then I'm gonna immediately start twirling. One, one twirl and then I'm gonna pull straight down. And we'll see if this does anything at all because it's so low. I'll be surprised if it just stays the same. Oh, that actually curled really nicely. And then I'm just gonna straighten out the end. I'm actually shocked how well this curled with just, this is just on 250 degrees, so that's pretty impressive. I definitely was not expecting that. Moving on to the second section, or subsection, I guess. In this middle one now. I do have a tutorial on this already, how to curl your hair with a flat iron but that one was on my own hair. And obviously, if you've seen any, any of my videos before, you know that my hair is a lot shorter than this. So the idea is basically the same, but since I have this lovely lady with long hair, I thought I would just show you guys how to do it on long hair. So here we are. So yeah, I'm just going in about two inches from the root, doing that one swirl, one or two swirls, and then just pulling it all the way down at a nice steady pace. It's curling really nicely. I'm really impressed so far. That looks so nice. So bouncy. Yay. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go up to the next section here. I'm gonna go just above her ear for the next section. So about there. I always use my fingers to section. So I'm just doing that on both sides and then just meeting it up at the back sections definitely don't have to be perfect and for those of you who haven't seen my flat iron curls video that i just mentioned i will leave it linked in the description box if you want to check it out but for now we will we will do her hair let me know if you have any good names for her because i can't think of one nothing has come to mind yet leave a comment if you have a good one so just going in about two inches away like i said kind of going in at a 45 degree angle and just pulling really steady all the way down. Once I get really close to that end, I loosen up a bit because I, I like it to have kind of more of a straight end. I just find that that gives it a much more natural look, a little bit of a softer look. So yeah, that's what I do pretty much every time. But if you like, of course, you can curl it all the way to the end. It's just kind of a personal preference. I'm really happy with this hair so far. It seems like really good quality and it's curling super nicely. Yeah. And I think what I'm gonna do is just curl 
pretty much all of them away from her face. And then at the end, I'm gonna brush through it and just give her like a super soft, like almost beachy kind of look. Just nice voluminous curls, so. So it's basically the same idea doing this on short hair as it is on long hair. It is obviously harder because there's more hair to deal with and it's harder to keep all of it inside the flat iron. That's probably the biggest challenge, but really it's the, it's the same idea. It's just a little bit more challenging. But it's definitely possible to curl your hair with a flat iron even if you have long hair. I think I'm gonna have to sit up a bit. I should have done this before, but I definitely need to figure out where I'm gonna part it. She obviously doesn't have a set part. She can kind of go anywhere. So we'll just go with the middle. I think there'll be two more sections before we're done. So look at how fast this is going. Super quick. That's why I love curling with a flat iron. So guys, please let me know what kinds of videos you want me to do with this lovely lady because now that I have some hair to work on, that is not my own hair. There are definitely a lot more opportunities, a lot more, ooh, <laughs> a lot more styles that can be done. So yeah, I can pretty much do any tutorial now. So I was pretty excited about these. Leave a comment, let me know what kinds of hair tutorials you want me to do. Definitely gonna have some fun with this lady here. She also definitely needs a cut. I wanna try and do that soon. I'm still not sure if I should do like a wet haircut or a dry one, so we'll see. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you want to see. Look at that shine. Do you guys see that? Woo! I'm so excited about this. I honestly wish my hair was this healthy. Okay, this is the last section. Almost done. Look at that shine. Oh my goodness. By the way, you guys, it does come with this little stand that you can put her on. It just attaches to the edge of any table. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, just because I never get to do this to my own hair, <laughs> I'm gonna put some dry shampoo in. This is the Aveda Champier dry shampoo. I'm just gonna give it a shake. This will just add some volume, a little bit of body, and it's also really fun to put in. Okay, well, it does make a mess though. <coughs> now what I'm gonna do is take a wide tooth comb. I'm just gonna use this to break up the curls. So I'm just gonna comb through it gently. You could totally leave it how it was. You don't have to do this, but I always like to brush through it just to get that nice natural look. The effortless curl look. Like it almost looks natural, but it kind of looks like you put work into it. Yeah, that's my favorite. Hey, I think she's done. Let's turn her towards the camera. So this is what she looks like. I think I messed up her bangs. I don't think she likes the middle part, but it's okay. Soft, natural curls on long hair. Very, oh, very beachy, very soft looking. I love these curls, they're my favorite. So that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful in some way. If you didn't, I hope it at least made you excited that I now have a mannequin to work on so I can do a lot more hair tutorials and a lot more long hair tutorials. So yeah, very exciting. If you did like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see with my new mannequin. I also did get one other mannequin, so very exciting, but she is going to be a surprise. You can't see her today, so yeah, but definitely let me know what you guys want to see what kind of tutorials you wanna see. And make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.